Hey guys, John V here from Phone Reno. Right now I'm taking a look at the Toshiba Excite 10 tablet. We're gonna run the usual set of benchmark tests to show you what's it capable of doing out of the box. Now it's powered by NVIDIA Tegra 3 quad-core processor and it's coupled with one gigabyte of RAM. So out of the box, you can tell with just some basic movement here. Very swift, just like what we see with the ACS Transformer Prime and even the Transformer Pad 300. Other operations, you could see just navigating across the app panel. Very swift with its movement and going to the gallery it's pretty much also instantaneous in in pretty much all 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 operations so we'll test it out a little bit further here let's just try running uh, some sort of a graphical graphically intensive live wallpaper here see how that handles it now let's just choose one here let's select the bubbles and see how that one works here so we'll set that guy and you can see it's still maintaining that same rate of responsiveness definitely likable and doesn't show any hint of slowdown or lag or whatsoever, so we're very happy with the performance out of the box. So let's uh, change it back to just a static wallpaper here. And then we'll run our first test, which is going to be Quadrant. Let's just select that wallpaper. So let's get started here, folks. So let's see what we ran it a few times already. And on the average, it pretty Puts up some good scores, over 4,000. Um, on the average, a little bit over 4,000. And that's pretty respectable amongst some high-end Android devices out there, like the Samsung Galaxy S3, the HTC One X, and even the Transformer Prime. It's uh, definitely on, on, on par to it. And again, just with the, uh, with the quick look at the uh, operation of the tablet out of the box, it's quite evident that it is uh, very powerful with its movement. So if you're concerned about slowdown, you know, stuff like that, something a little bit more processor intensive, you won't have to worry that much with this guy here. <coughs> so these graphical tests here, see they load up showing 83 frames per second with this one here, roughly 80 frames per second. So very quick. And it's maintaining that it's going up and down between 50 to 75, 70 to 80 frames per second right now. This next graphical test here looks like a steady 65 frames per second. 65 frames per second looks like. And the last test here, it's running steadily at around 64 to 60 frames per second. So pretty good, mar pretty good marks there. So let's see what it puts up this time around. Let's hit yes. And it gives us a total of 38.82, so a little bit lower than the other results that we've checked out. But again, on the average, roughly around 4,000 mark on Quadrant, so it's still really nice uh, results. Really nice results there. The other test um, we'll quickly show you here. We ran Antutu quite a few times, and on the average, it looks like also a score of 10,000 easily. So that's on par to some of its rivals out there. And we put it on the uh, on the map here, the score chart. Show you the score chart here. And you can see where it's listed. It's definitely up there in terms of uh, you know uh, results on pace on par with the Transformer Prime, a little bit faster and bet a lot better results than the Galaxy Note, the Nexus, and all the previous uh, dual core devices out there on the market. And the last test that we checked out was just the Nina Mark II. We're gonna show you that here. And on the average, we managed to get 47.7 frames per second, but we'll quickly run this test one more time, just show you guys uh, what's able to uh, put up. There you go, 40, 40, 44 frames per second this time. It's a little bit slower. So if you'd like to learn more about the Toshiba Excite 10, guys, you could check out our website, phonerena.com. This is John V. Thanks for watching.